published 1310 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of January 2019, updated 1312 Eastern Standard Time, the 24th of January 2019. Naomi Osaka has hit back at sponsors saying, I'm tan it's pretty obvious after they were accused of whitewashing her in an advertisement, noodle company Nissan was forced to apologize to the Grand Slam champion, who is of Haitian and Japanese heritage, for making her appear Caucasian in a cartoon advert earlier this week. I've talked to Nissan and they've apologized, she told journalists at the Australian Open. It's obvious, I'm tan. It's pretty obvious, she added, I don't think they did it on purpose to be whitewashing or anything, but I definitely think that, next time they try to portray me or something, I feel like they should talk to me about it. Osaka answers questions at a press conference following her win over Karolina Pliskova of the Czech Republic Thursday Japanese firm Nissan, which sponsors tennis ace Naomi Osaka, was forced to apologize after whitewashing her in a new animated advert in which she was drawn with lighter skin, straighter hair, and features that appear more Caucasian. It comes after Osaka was depicted as a light-skinned blonde woman, right, in a racist cartoon published after she beat Serena Williams in the final of the US Open last year, the anime-style ad depicts the 21-year-old with white skin, Caucasian features and wavy, light brown hair, in stark contrast with her actual appearance. This comes just months after Osaka was depicted as light-skinned and blonde in a racist cartoon published after she beat Serena Williams in the final of the US Open. The win was overshadowed by Serena's on-court meltdown, in which she accused umpire Carlos Ramos of being a liar and a thief, a cartoon by Australian artist Mark Knight published in the aftermath sparked global outrage for the racist way he had drawn Serena, as well as Osaka. The most recent controversy, involving Osaka's own sponsor, emerged this week after fans began pointing out the way the tennis ace had been drawn in Nissan's advert. Bay McNeil, a black columnist writing for the Japan Times, was the first prominent figure to accuse Nissan of whitewashing Osaka, wrote, I was disappointed to see that there was no woman of color to speak of in the commercial, instead, I found a whitewashed representation of Osaka, the brand denied deliberately giving the athlete whiter skin and Caucasian features but said it would pay more attention, in future Nissan added that Osaka was shown the advert before it aired, but did not say whether it would be pulled following the criticism Nissan has since apologized, saying there was no deliberate attempt to whitewash Osaka's skin or features. It said the cartoon had been drawn in the style of animator Takeshi Konomi, who worked on the campaign as is famous for his Prince of Tennis series. The company added that the advert had been shown to Osaka before being aired, a company spokesman told The Guardian, We accept that we are not sensitive enough and will pay more attention to diversity issues in the future, it is not clear whether the advert, which was drawn by prominent cartoonists, will be withdrawn. Emotional win, US Open women's singles champion Osaka stands with Serena Williams after their final match at the 2018 US Open in New York. Osaka, who is of Japanese and Haitian heritage, became Japan's most successful tennis player ever last year when she won the US Open against Serena Williams Osaka's victory in the US Open in September last year marked the first time any Japanese player has claimed a Grand Slam trophy. She is also through to the semi-final of the Australian Open, having won in straight sets against Ukraine's Alina Svitolina on Wednesday. Osaka was born in Japan but moved to America when she was three years old and grew up in Florida. She holds dual Japanese and American citizenship, but represents the country of her birth in international tournaments.